Okay, this is Gringo with Zenobia. Now, today we've got a project that we're going to start here, um, and it's pretty, really pretty cool. Zenobia, ever since she was little, has had wearing, been wearing hats or ribbons or whatever in her hair, and she, for the last few years, she has a, had a hat. Um, it's probably 15 years old that she got from BB, and it had the crystals on it, and now she wants to uh, make her own and so we're going to attempt to do that today. We've got the, the pink hat, all right? And then we've got like the gray white mix, and then we got a solid gray one. And then on the crystals, we got these over at, I believe it was Hobby Lobby. Yeah. And what we have to do is attach them and attach them. We're going to use uh, some transparent thread. Then we got some curved needles that we're going to use. And then uh, we got a sewing kit here just in case we need more thread. E aqui eu quero mostrar para vocês, compartilhar com vocês um projeto que eu estou fazendo. A minha vida inteira eu sempre gostei de usar coisas no cabelo, como flores, como uh, ch uh, chapéuzinho, lenço, tudo que possa assim deixar a pessoa com uma aparência diferente. Só so, eu resolvi esse ano fazer meus próprios chapéus. So, e aqui eu tenho esses bonezinhos. E o que eu vou fazer é utilizar esses cristais para decorar o meu chapéu. E eu vou usar a agulha com linha e vou usar também cola, cola que fica transparente. E aqui, esse daqui vai para esse, eu tenho tudo separado. Esse conjunto vai para cá e esse daqui vai para o chapéu rosa. Gente, vai ficar muito lindo. Eu gosto muito de detalhes nas coisas. Ok, so we finished one hat. You can see the bling that we put on here. We put them a little closer together than you might think, but the reason you do that is because when you put the hat on, it stretches and it wraps around your head a little bit better. Uh -huh. E aqui nós fizemos o primeiro bonezinho. A gente costurou esses como se fossem botões e a gente tá, tá muito perto um do outro, mas tem uma razão, porque quando você bota na cabeça, eles, têm um, eles são elásticos e eles vão uh, 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 como é, esticar uh -huh. e aí eles vão ficar longe um do outro. Ok, então eu vou mostrar para vocês agora como vamos fazer isso. Ok, então uma das coisas que você vai precisar é uma fina de fio de fio, como esse, é muito fino. But you're going to need a, a, a yarn. You can get that anywhere at any uh, any store that has fabrics and things like that. All right. And this one has a mixture of different colors mm -hmm. in it. Okay. And then you're going to need a curved needle. Now, the curved needle has to have an eye in it, pretty good size, so you can run the yarn through it. Uh, e aqui, como a gente vai implantar essa, essas, essas, essa decoração no, no, no chapéu, a gente vai usar essa linha, como, é como uma linha de crochê. Mas... E aí a gente comprou uma agulha que ela é dobrada, não, que tem curva. E aí nós vamos colocar esse, esses decorações Botões. no chapéu como se fosse um botão. Um okay. botão. Então, so vamos começar. Ok, so I took the little packets off. You can see there's a little eye on the bottom of these. That's where we're going to be attaching, is this little eye right here. We'll be running the needle Corre. through there, okay? Yeah. And then you're going to have to look and sort of gauge it. Where is the center of the hat? So first of all, you put this little eye right here. He want, you want the eye running this way on the hat so you can run your needle around it, okay? So you gauge where the center is. E aqui, olha, eles são como um botão, essas decorações. Aí você... Porque o, o chapéu tem elástico e estica, você tem que botar eles bem juntos. Ok. So, lift up the button. And you got to make sure, again, make sure that you can run your needle through this way. So, you just lay it back down. You got it sort of equal here. And you want to make sure your distance here. So, you push it down so you can feel on the other side. You're going to go through. And you can feel on the other side where it's at. And you're going to run it through. Isso okay. aqui você mede o lugar certo que você quer colocar e é como, é como se você vai pregar um botão. Você estava tá pregando mm -hmm. um botão no, na, na, no chapéu. E você só tem que sentir que você está indo por aí. E depois, vamos ver aqui. Isso é por isso que você quer uma curva de curva, certo? 
and you push it, you might want to have a little pliers to work this through because it's a little yeah. bit difficult, but you just wiggle it and push it, it should come through, okay? Você também, a pessoa precisa também de um alicate. Nós temos, mas não temos aqui yeah. no momento. So, you just want to pull it through. It's just trying to work it through the button. Once you get it through, like that, you just pull it all the way, all right? And you leave about an inch or two, and then you cut it because you want to put some knots in it. Okay, and then you, you sort of look at it again. And then I'm just gonna, you see how I'm tying a knot in it? Very simple, just a regular knot. Yeah, você pode fazer assim ou pode fazer como geralmente faz pegando um botão. Okay, and then you're gonna double knot it because you don't want this coming loose. There you go, there's one. And another knot on top of it. all you have to do you cut it short a razão que você tem que passar para os dois lados é porque se você não fizer isso uh, aí vai cair quando você botar na cabeça a, a parte da frente só você tem que prender os dois lados now the reason that you want to go through see this here comes down now some people say well why don't you just go behind the first layer and, and uh, put a knot in there. I don't want to do that because the weight of this will actually bring it down. It's gonna, it's gonna sort of mess up what the hat looks like. So that's why we run it all the way through. It's very simple. And when you set the hat up, you want to make sure that this is the back with the, with the little uh, label on it. You make sure you have the front and then you work from the center out, okay? So now we got our little buttons here, the smaller ones, but what we want to do is we want to put them closer because when you put it on, it's going to stretch out. So, for example, if this is your head and you stretch it out, I'm trying to show you here. You put it close it. and then you stretch it out. You see how it, how it separates, right? So, let's, uh, let's go ahead. And I sort of want to do the same as I did before. I want to get this little button, this little hook. He needs to be so I can run the thread from uh, right to left or left to right, okay? So, you don't want them touching, you know, leave a little bit of a gap. And I always want to be, yeah, again, you're looking for the center. So, I'm gonna do that. I grab my needle and I'm gonna push down. So on the other side, I can actually feel where I'm going to be running the needle through. There we go, sort of. I, you got a fish for it, there it is, okay? And then you can sort of look, yep, I'm in. And you just want to make a loop. Yeah, there we go. Just want to make a loop. Now you just hold it in place and then work it through. É como pregando um botão, mas você só dá, porque o a, a linha é muito é grossa, você só precisa fazer uma vez. Okay. Okay. Just save your save enough yarn. So you have room to work, especially if you got big fingers like me. Okay, tip it over, look back, and it's pretty well where we need to be. It's not going to be a hundred percent perfect, but we can get it real close. And remember, you know, you're doing the hat for yourself or, or someone or as a gift, and that you know you're putting your own touch into it. And if it's off a little bit, you can live with that. Yeah. But you try to get it as close as you can. Again, you're going to double and triple knot. And how many knots you want to put in there, you just don't want them coming out. Cut it off short. There we go. Okay, that's the, uh, the right side is done. And now, I'm going to finish up on the other side. So I have a little bit of yarn left. I probably should have made it a little bit longer, but that's fine. I'll have enough. So, we're going to use this one. On this side, this matches this. You always want to have a balance. Yeah. It's one one bigger in the middle and two yeah. smaller in the side. No matter what you do, you sort of want to have a balance. Or you could put three big ones or, or three you smaller put a five. ones. five. Sometimes they put five, you can if you want. You can always add to this. There's nothing saying you can't. Yeah. So. Aqui, 
Por exemplo, eu tenho uns três, mas eu acho que a quantidade certa seria cinco. Uhum. Para quando você botar na cabeça e esticar o elástico, aí ficaria totalmente aqui na uhum. testa. Ok. So then, again, try to judge your distance. Make sure your little hook down there is turned. And you just want to get the same equal distance here. Push it down. Grab your needle. It's almost impossible to do this without a curved needle. And I'm sure you can get these anywhere. Yeah. Os botões não são baratos, gente. Esses botões, alguns custaram 8 dólares cada um. Não só... Só nos botões é, é uma boa quantidade de dinheiro. Okay. Now well, you can find the buttons. I think we looked at Walmart. They're not there, but we found them at um, Hobby Lobby. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just pull the needle off and then just want to make sure I'm still right because you can always redo it if you have to. Put the first knot in, tighten it real tight and then you look at it okay and there we go beautiful okay so now this here doesn't take you long at all and uh, these can be done for gifts you can make them it's just there's a little bit of an expense to it right yeah o material não é barato nós gastamos bastante no material só para fazer esses três que você tem que comprar o chapéu cada botão custa na entre seis a oito dólares ou mais cada botão só aí você calcula o custo né é é um pouco mm -hmm. so now when you put it on your head and you stretch it out you see how it's see? how it, how it spreads that's how it's supposed to be and that's sort of equal on each side you just sort of gauge that yeah okay? você coloca perto porque o o chapéu é elástico quando separa você Ocupa o espaço que tem Now, que ocupar. It depends on how much you like it. If you want more bling, then you get some more bling. There's tons I of different selections. Five era a quantidade mm. certa. There's tons of different Sim. selections. But I tell you what, as you're outside and you're wearing this, uh, people are going to really compliment on it. É preferível você cuidar bem, porque você não pode estar lavando muito e nem pode também botar em máquina de lavar. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the next one. Okay, number five. Ready to go. Shouldn't take too long. It's hooked. And come around. Okay. Remember to leave yourself enough string so you can actually tie. Uh, if you get it too short, especially me with big fingers, it's very hard to do. Okay. Always check it. There we go. trim and you can see inside here it looks neat it doesn't look so bad we're just gonna leave it just like that and that's the final product right there we have a couple other things on a couple more hats we decided on the last ones we did we want to actually add a couple more crystals okay we've completed Zenobia's crystal hats you can see we got three different ones put together here a gray a uh, uh, pink and then the uh, charcoal so on behalf of Gringo with Zenobia, thank you for watching our videos. We appreciate it. Subscribe, like, and share if you haven't done so. Have a wonderful day. E aqui nós chegamos ao final do vídeo e só compartilhando pro, pra, com vocês um dos nossos trabalhos aqui, uma criação minha com a execução do, do Gringo. Não, é, é uma coisa que eu adoro, eu adoro esses tipos de chapéus. Só so, eu espero que vocês gostem. Se vocês gostaram, não se esqueça de deixar o seu joinha e se inscrever no canal para ajudar a suportar o nosso canal. Muito obrigada por assistir os nossos vídeos. Um grande beijo no coração de vocês. Eu vejo vocês no próximo vídeo.